We've all been there before. Working late the night before and thinking, I'll finish this in the morning. You wake up the next morning feeling bright, refreshed, and ready to go. You switch your laptop on and, uh-oh, a typical problem occurs. Your Wi-Fi is not working. This is probably because the correct driver is not installed. So you're thinking, what do I do? I really need to get this work done. First of all, don't panic. We're here to help you. Now the first thing you want to do is access your computer's network and sharing center. When you're here, you can check whether or not you have a working Wi-Fi connection. So to get to your network and sharing center, hit Start menu, go to the control panel, click on Network and Internet, and there's your network and sharing center. As you can see, this laptop is not connected to the internet. If you see a sign like this, you're probably not connected to your Wi-Fi connection either. What you have to do to sort this problem out is plug your laptop into your modem's ethernet jack using an ethernet cable. Most ethernet jacks are located at the back of a modem, so plug one end of your cable into there and the other end of your cable into your laptop's ethernet jack. You should now have an internet connection. Access your manufacturer's website. In our case, that's HP or Compaq. Find the correct driver based on your computer's model number. You can usually find this somewhere on your laptop's body. Enter this model number into the manufacturer's website. The next thing you have to do is choose the correct operating system. Make sure you choose either 34 or 64 bit, whichever applies to your operating system. Find an option for driver downloads, navigate the page until you find the download button. This download shouldn't take more than a few minutes. As soon as it's done, start up the EXE file. Installing the driver is not too difficult. You just have to accept the terms and conditions and then follow a few easy steps until it's complete. In your tray, you should notice an icon that says Installation of Driver Device Software. As soon as this installation is done, you'll receive WLAN confirmation and then soon confirmation of a successful installation. The next thing we need to do now is connect to a network. Click on the network icon in your tray and choose connect to a network. Choose the network that's yours and enter your security key. This is the most suspenseful moment as we wait to see whether our driver device really is working or not. If you see this, then you are back in business. Finally, just to be 100% sure, let's just check that we're connected by accessing Google. If your page loads, your driver device is now working successfully and your problem is solved. Do you want to avoid this drama in the future? Get yourself a driver update utility at www.driverdownload.org.